Previously on The Potentialists. Alex dropped this bomb on me. We had a, an arrangement. Come on, Valerie. This is where I've been training for the last two years. <laughs> MMA. <laughs> Taking and turning. I was actually diving under the marker, maybe in 10, 15 feet deep, and I ran out of air. Anyone can entertain you, but only we edutain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Get ready to make it happen. This episode contains mild, violent content, which may be too intense for some viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. went to go spearfishing because it was Monday we had nothing else better to do. He told us not to shoot anything pretty and I could have sworn I could have sworn it was ugly from far. <laughs> I shot it, I reeled it in and it was actually pretty fish. There's a scene there where you see Henry grab the fish and just like stab it in the head. We didn't think of the sharks. It never came across my mind because it was just a big group of us. We got one of those uh, belly boards and they tied a rope to the boat. And then we just went, and that was cool. My hands are getting torn up, and it was harder than I thought. <laughs> On the way back, we something happened to the engine. I think it was the oil cap cracked, so we couldn't go past five miles an hour. And we had 11 miles to go, going, oh, not five miles, not five knots. We were out in the water for going to be four hours coming back. We broke down. Well, we didn't break down. We'll go. One of the things in putting your life out there on film all the time is the fact that there's people that can comment. <laughs> oh my God, that's the most stupid thing I've ever seen. It's oh, stupidest. We have this one guy who just loves to comment and bash on our team. His name is Rick Nelson. Is he a country singer? He's hiding behind a facade. Rick Nelson on Live Life. How can you be empty on the inside when you're so full of and I do live life to the fullest. My life is full of strippers, hookers, drugs, and STDs. Make it happen. I'm trying to do the math. How many times has LJ been fired from Boa? I lost count. Make it happen. Looks like somebody else went to high school with Do you guys know Rick Nelson? If you do, please comment. And Ricky, give me a call, man. I really like your comments. They're pretty cool. They make us laugh. Who are you? What do you want with us? Reveal your real identity. LJ has been on his vow of silence now for about a week. I've been very impressed with uh, his dedication and commitment to it. Not a peep. But at the same time, it's been a bit of a test for me because not being able to talk to my co-editor is very frustrating. Sometimes frustrations can come to a head. What's happening? I'm frustrated because LJ can't talk, so it's hard to communicate. I'm not yelling. You had caps, you were yelling. So he writes things on the white pad, and you know, as he's writing, the tension, you know, it's, it's palpable. You, you wonder what he's gonna say. When he's angry, or you know, when we're arguing, he'll write in all caps. That's how I know he's yelling at me. Also, it's a bad sign if he's using the red marker. And what is this all about? We let people just do things. The main crux of our argument was over a green screen session we were filming. I wasn't nearly as assertive as I needed to be, and uh, rightfully so, he pointed this out. But I didn't exactly take you know, his valid points as well as I should have. You could have spoken up when you saw me signing. You knew what I was asking. How would I know what you were asking? I'm not fluent in sign language. What were you asking? 
first green screen we do, you shouldn't let the silent one direct. I wasn't letting you direct, I told him the topic, and I let him go with that topic. Even though his critique was valid, it just was something that had mounted on top of another bunch of other frustrations. I was frustrated and let loose a little bit of steam. The problem I saw with that green screen shoot was that you two were fighting too much and it was interfering with getting any talking to him. So that's why I was being quiet. So letting that play out to see if we can get anything useful out of it. We weren't. That's why I asked you to leave the room. And that was nothing against you. It was just, uh, okay, we can do that. Yeah, we probably need to spend a little time apart. When is he gonna start talking again? I don't know about anybody else, but I feel like tensions are just really, really high today. Eric is exhausted, LJ is stressed out, and I think Eric might just kill LJ today. That or he might just implode and blow up on top of him. Oh, that was so very <laughs> poorly, that last part. I was, I, I, that, that's the break with that. No, that was very so poorly. So we went to a business meeting out in Key Biscayne to go meet with a client we were having fun, looking at the ocean, getting the breeze in her hair. It was a beautiful day. One of the really big things to do in today's time is to Instagram. And our number one Instagrammer is Mr. Bird. What are you doing, Bird? I'm Instagramming. You're Instagramming in the middle of the highway? Yeah. Part of the reason we got caught in a huge rainstorm was because he had to pull over to the beautiful Miami skyline and Instagram his motorcycle. We are in South Florida. The weather here is kind of kooky, right? But, you know, sometimes you just can't help it. You check your radar, you make sure you do everything you gotta do. We got stormed on, like cats and dogs. So we had to pull over to a friend's uh, business in. My hero came to pick me up. Bert just texted me and asked me if I could go pick her up. He's got a rain suit for one. I'm gonna go rescue Alex, poor thing. I, I hope he didn't get rained on, though it might be kind of funny. Hey, yo, how you doing? Check this out, it's Serge from Bowl World. You better like us. And if you got something to say, leave a comment. And check this out, if you really got the guts, subscribe so I can get back to you so we can make it happen with Bowl World. Feel me?